Okay, in this video we're going to go through a tour of the Object Navigator, which is the primary part of the of Oracle Forms Builder that you use to get around the different parts of the form while you're developing the form and to um, do most of your work. You do most of your work using the Object Navigator. Now, the Object Navigator hasn't changed in, oh, probably 10 years worth of form. So it's something you can get used to. I think it's pretty much been the same since Oracle 4.5, or it hasn't changed much since then. So when you look at the Object Navigator, I've got everything here collapsed. The Object Navigator operates in sort of a tree structure where um, when everything is closed, my uh, the things that I can be working on are my forms, which are the screens that uh, the user sees, the menus, which are pull-down menus that are part of the forms, PL SQL libraries, which allows me to write common code that's used um, throughout my form. So if I'm doing the same thing from one form to another, then um, I can I can do that with PL SQL libraries that I include into each into each form. And then I have object libraries, which is really just a more, um, a more complicated, uh, a more object-oriented way of using libraries. And then I have my built-in packages that are things that are built into Oracle, and then my database objects. Now, built-in packages and database objects I don't do much with in the object navigator other than and look at them. Uh, kind of the same thing um, usually with object libraries because you're inheriting somebody else's objects. But the key things are forms, menus, and PL SQL libraries. But what, where I want to start is I'm going to start with forms. Now Oracle Forms, when I open this, notice I have two forms open. Oracle Forms, one of their uh, benefits and their curses is that it allows you to work on multiple forms at the same time, which sometimes is great. But as you, as you look at the Object Navigator, you're going to see that it's complicated enough that having too many things open in Oracle Forms building can be problematic because you'll find yourself working on things that you, know, you get yourself confused pretty easily because in addition to the Object Navigator, you have property palettes, you have canvases and windows that you work on. There's a lot of things going on. So if you open up, you know, I'll open up the Emp Mate main form and then I'll open up this other form and you notice I get a lot of things going on. So now when I'm working inside of a form, let me open up this one form called EMP main. It's my employee maintenance form and this is a form that I made it a point of having everything I could think of putting into a form in this form. Now when I open up the form I get the hierarchy of all the things that make up the form. Now it, it's kind of in a strange order here so I'm gonna uh, I'll go through it in order but um, then I'll go back through and show you kind of the, the order in which it's most important. Now a trigger is something that happens that fires when something happens on the screen. Now a trigger can be um, an action created by somebody kept pressing a key on the keyboard, somebody clicking a button with a mouse, or something that happens with the data, like a data uh, data being queried from the database and then being showing up on the screen, or there's triggers that fire before events, during events, after events, so you so uh, triggers happen at multiple levels. So when I look at a trigger at this level, these are triggers that apply to the entire form. And, and uh, in a lot of other videos, I will talk in much more detail about vi triggers. But if we're looking at the object navigator in the hierarchy, the triggers that you see here are form level level triggers. That's the highest level of trigger. These are the they're kind of the fallback triggers. They're the triggers that let's say you've got a, a key event that you program at the item level. Well, if you don't have it on an item, then the form level version of it will fire. Now alerts. Now an alert is a pop up, and actually I've got a form that I'm running in the background. Let me pull this form up and um, an alert is something like this just pops up and says oh I'm an alert okay so I I put a trigger on a button and when I click the button it pops up an alert so now Oracle is um, this is the earliest form of uh, object oriented so you create your alerts so all the alerts for my entire form would be found in this alert section and then they would be called from triggers and events throughout the form. Okay, then I've got attached libraries which I'm not going to talk about in this video and then we've got data blocks. Now data blocks is the fundamental thing in Oracle that relates to data and the way you manipulate data. So I'm going to show a fo this form in development. Okay, I have two data blocks. This is department, and this is employee. And data blocks 
relate directly to data in the database. Now it is possible to have control blocks that, that don't relate to data, but what I'm talking about here is this these fields here relate to a table called departments in the database, and these fields here relate to a, an employee um, records in the database. And data blocks are how you control the access to the data. Now within a data block, you have triggers. We talked about triggers. You have triggers at the form level. You also have triggers at the block level, which means when I'm in here and I do something, it's different than when I'm down here. And those are called block level triggers. And then we have the item. So each field in a, in a block has is in the items. So I can have items that are, and then I, at the at the item level, I also have triggers there. So those are my three levels of triggers. I have triggers that fire at the form level, I have triggers that fire at the block level, and I have triggers that fire at the item level. But as I'm as this relates to the object navigator, you see that it's all a hierarchy. Okay, I can open and close um, the different sections, and that's how I find things, and that's how I work on things within a forms application. Now, the the one important thing that goes along with all of these items is the property palette. So if I right click on here, I can bring up a property palette, and what that is is these are all the things that relate all the properties that relate to whatever it is that I right clicked on. So um, so that's data blocks. Now data blocks again refers to data. Now I have canvases. Now what a canvas is, is it's a container. Now this is a canvas. I have a window and this background that contains these, all these graphical items are called, are called canvases. And I can have multiple canvases and there are, th there, there are three different types of canvases. And the, the two most important are your content canvases, which are canvases that contain the fields that you see on your screen and then what's called a stacked canvas which allows you to paint regions of graphics over the screen okay so you've got your stacked canvases and your content canvases okay and then editors now an editor I don't see used very often but let me uh, give a demonstration of an editor I go back up here to my form and I say you know what there's too much information for me to type into my department name field so I'm gonna bring up an editor and it's going to let me type in a bunch of information and then when I say OK it goes into the field. Now the interesting thing about editors again you define your editors you say I've got you know in this case I have an editor for department name I might have an editor for department number and I define these independently of using them so I, I'll go in and I'll create all my editors and then in other parts of the form I'll actually call the editors and that's the same thing as this thing called a list of values okay now a list of values is, um, is, a, is a very common thing in Oracle in uh, in more modern programming languages you would think of things like uh, list boxes and combo boxes but in Oracle because it's so data driven you have this thing called an LOV so let me pop up uh, actually I don't have an LOV on here so I'll, I'll have an entire video on list of values. I don't seem to have one here. So, and then I've got parameters, pop-up menus. Now, pop-up menus, you don't see used as much in a lot of Oracle forms, but they're actually very useful. Let me, uh, I think I put a pop-up menu on here. I can go and I can actually right-click. And this is a pop-up menu that I created for doing a, a clear form. Okay, or I can right-click here and I can do um, an enter query. Okay, and then you know I can execute the query off of that. But the these pop-up menus just allow you to put specific menus on any field, and then you right-click on them. And you know, it, a lot of times it's good for navigation. A lot of times it's good for you know deciding you know different actions on different fields. So those are pop-up menus, program units. A program unit, I've got a field thing called here called Make Me Red, which I'll demonstrate that in a minute. That's a procedure that I write in the PL SQL editor. And in this case, I have a procedure called Make Me Red. <coughs> and what it does is it calls the set item property function. So those are program units. And then we have record groups, which are related to, they're actually queries that return um, sets of 
sets of data that can be used throughout the form. And then I have visual attributes. Now, again, in this case, I've created this thing called a visual attribute called a red field. Okay, so what I can do is I can uh, say I want to create a red field, and then I define the properties, and then I can actually use this in a function. So in this case, I go back to my application, and I have a button. And when I click here, it's going to fire the when button press trigger, which is going to call this fee this function that's called make me red. And then it from there, it is going to um, set this to red. So I click here, and it makes me red. Okay, it's um, Oracle. It, there's Oracle is an interesting product because it it has a lot of functionality and a lot of capabilities. But it's also very simple. This hierarchy, uh, you know, you can learn the hierarchy in the Oracle Object Navigator much faster than you can learn your way around other other products. So this is how the Object Navigator works. And, and the one thing I definitely want to go through quickly is the different things. Now, there's buttons on the side, so I can click on Canvases and click Expand or Collapse, you know, or um, Expand All. You know, it's got it's got these little things, but the real important things here are the plus and the X. So if I've got a canvas and I want to create a new canvas, I do it by hitting the plus. And I create a canvas, I want to remove the canvas, I do it by clicking the X. So this is the object navigator, and uh, it had you know this is uh, I'll show you what a PL SQL editor is, and this is your layout editor. And as you work with forms more and more, you're going to find that this really is a very effective way of working and working with the different parts of a visual application.